Yo, 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 what is up, Halo fans? So here we are with another weekly shop update. Let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So the first bundle we got here is Liber Liberty Clad. And this one is obviously representing like the US colors, red, white, and blue. Um, and yeah, you get this uh, coating for the Eagle Strike core, which is unfortunate because you can't use this coating on any other uh, core. So that really sucks. Um, it's a pretty cool looking coating and you get it for the uh, Rocket Hog and the Razorback as well as the Warthog. And that's it. Um, yeah, 700 credits for that. I just don't think it's worth it, especially since this coating is like tied to the Eagle Strike core, which you can barely even customize that core itself. So it, I don't I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Pretty cool coating, but yeah, not worth 700 credits for just that. Moving on to the next bundle, we got the White Sidar, or Sidar, I don't know uh, how to pronounce that, but <laughs> yeah, you get a bunch of vehicle coatings again, um, and this time we got like some kind of like beige, orange, and red to it, kind of like a mixture of them, it looks pretty nice, um, and you get this for the Warthog, the Rocket Hog, the Razorback, the Mongoose, and the Gun Goose, so you don't get it for all the vehicles. But uh, it is for 200 credits, which I personally do think is pretty fair. Um, of course, if you don't like this uh, coating or the colors or whatever, then yeah, it's not wor worth it. But yeah, if you're into this for 200, that's not too bad. Um, I would have to agree with that one. And moving on to the next bundle, um, which really isn't a bundle, but um, we got watermelon slice, which represents a watermelon except uh yeah you slap it on your br so um yeah there's not much else to say about it it is 300 credits which i do think is overpriced this one should at the very least be 200 um but personally i do think it should be 100 credits but you know we can make like a kind of like a compromise lower it to like 200 at least um but yeah 300 credits not worth it cool coding just not worth 300 credits and on to the last thing in the shop, we got knee pads. And so th these are called type or UA type griff. Um, and it's for the Rakashasha core. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's not much else to say about it. It's just a bunch of knee pads. So these are just knee pads. It has a couple skulls on them. It is worth 200 credits. I do think this one's a little overpriced, but um, you know, we'll make a fair deal and just say, yeah, 200, whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, man. I mean, it sucks how, like, there's no cross core, so I just, I don't even want to get it anyways, just because of that sole reason. Anyways, that wraps up this weekly shop. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, personally, I think it's okay. Is it better than last week's? I guess so. Um, we didn't get a repeat this time, so it's nice that we actually got something new to look at here. So with that being said, consider subscribing and hitting that like button as it shows your support and helps me out in the algorithm and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace all right so i've actually forgot to uh check on the ultimate here and i am going based off another leak um because like i've said before in the last weekly one uh they don't update both of them at the same time and if i want to get this out to you guys i kind of just have to rely on the leaks um and they're pretty accurate most of the time i think so this was a uh, credit to uh, Delta News. So of course, check him out. He leaks a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, so this week's ultimate is a black visor for the Mark V core, uh, the Noble core or whatever, the Reach core. And it's kind of interesting that we're now just getting stuff for uh, a core that was in season one. So a lot of speculation is that we might be getting cross core possibly. I don't know. But anyways, that's this week's ultimate, and in order to get that reward, you have to uh, play three, or rather just complete three Team Sniper matches in PvP, and yeah, that's that's it, and you get the Black Visor. Um, pretty simple, and the Black Visor is really cool, so I think it's pretty worth it, I guess. Um, that's probably one I'll actually grind for, personally.